HDR in that space, let's be honest, it's far from being perfect, but without a doubt, it's amongst one of the best HDR presentation I have seen so far in a game. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Markus and today we're talking about HDR in that space and thanks to Electronic Arts, I was able to play this game before the official launch date. So thank you very much again, because I had so much fun no, that's actually not true. I, I had so much fear playing this game. So thank you very much again. And before we start now, I have a big favor to ask. Please like, share and subscribe. So now let's talk about HDR. In this video, I'm covering the PC version of Dead Space, but I'm working currently on our PlayStation 5 version as well. And depending when you're watching this video, maybe it's already ready to watch. I, I don't know. Anyway, there is a PlayStation 5 version coming as well. I don't have any access to the Xbox version at the moment, so unfortunately I can't test Dolby Vision. And also keep in mind that I played the preview version actually, so I was not able to test the game with a maybe day one launch patch or update or something like that. So maybe there's a difference in the yeah, release version on the release date, but I was not able to capture this, okay? So if there is a big difference or a significant difference between HDR in the game version, what I'm testing right now, and then in the official version, then I will let you know. But right now, let's talk about HDR in that space. And there's actually just one word to cover the whole video. Awesome. Okay, so let's try to answer one of the most important questions in yeah, for this video actually, do we have black level rays when we play this game in HDR? And I like to make it very, very quick. No, not that I can see any trace or evidence of black level rays. Not at all, not on my G2 and not on the CX. And I tested the game on two different PCs. There's no need to change the brightness. There's no need to change the uh, fine tune dark area settings. There's no need to change the RGB from auto to full to limit, whatever. In terms of contrast, this game is just perfect. But let's make this very, very clear. There might be some black level rays when you play this game in VRR, in verbal refresh rate, but this comes from the screen itself, from the monitor you're using. This is not coming from the game. Again, I couldn't find any elevated black levels when I played this game. Just watch the footage here, but please keep in mind that I'm recording this off my screen, in this case from the LG CX. So my camera is not able to capture all the fine details and most likely you will have maybe crushed blacks or maybe elevated blacks or maybe clipping uh, specular highlights on the screen right now, what you can see. This is not the case in real, at least not when we're talking about elevated black levels. Believe me, this game in terms of contrast, when we're talking about perfect OLED black and a very, very bright specular highlights. This is one of the best games I've ever played. Okay, so we established there is no HDR black level rays at all, at least not on the systems, on the PCs, what I tested the game and on my TVs. So if you're experiencing something like HDR black level rays, put it in the comment section and I will look into it. Okay, so let's move on. Do we have, in terms of HDR, what are our settings actually? What is supported? and what I can tell you, Windows 11 has this HDR calibration app, but the game, that space, does not support this app at all. So it really doesn't matter what you set up here, minimum, maximum values for your TV, the maximum peak brightness was always the same. But what about HDR settings in the game? Do we have any of those sliders what we know from other games? And yeah, unfortunately, no, at least not in the version I played. All what we have is actually this brightness setting menu and it's absolutely the same if you play this game in SDR or HDR, it doesn't change at all. So there is no HDR related setting in the game at all. So to summarize this, there's actually no setting at all where we can change HDR to our liking, but thanks God, it's actually not really necessary. So no HDR settings at all, not in the HDR system level calibration menu on the PC in Windows 11. And again, I don't know about PlayStation 5 or Xbox at this stage, but I'm working on it. And no HDR settings in the game. And again, at least not in the version I played. 
That means we have no control over the maximum peak brightness in this game, which is by the way around uh, 3800 Candela. This is the maximum what I was able to find. So it really looks like it's mastered up to this point. So again, there was nothing with 5000 Candela or 10,000 Candela. And also, of course, I checked the config file on, yeah, on my PC if I can find anything in terms of HDR related settings. But again, nothing. So that means we have no control over the HDR maximum peak brightness in this game. And that's what I meant with this game is not perfect in terms of HDR because if we would have the possibility to change this actually to, yeah, let's say to the CX with a maximum peak brightness of around 800 candela and we would be able to use HGHG because unfortunately with 3800 candela maximum peak brightness you have a lot of clipping when you use HGHG on an LG OLED TV so it's not really to recommend but let's talk about this a little bit later. If we would have proper settings where we can set up the maximum peak brightness in this game this would be one of the best HDR implementations I have ever seen. But let's move back to the only setting what we have in this game it's called brightness and what I found is standard setting is 50 and this counts for SDR and HDR the same. It's actually a good way to start with because all what you have to do is turn off your light and set this up until you hardly or barely can't see the symbol on the left side. And I found it's actually 49, but the problem is, and I played this game with controller, with controller, or at least with my version again, I can't set it to 49. So I had to use my mouse actually, but maybe you like playing this game with mouse anyway. So make sure you turn off the light in your room, and I know it's scary, but that's how it goes set up this until you hardly or barely can't see the symbol on the left side and I wish you fun playing this game. Okay, so we have no control over HDR in this game at all. The brightness setting what we have in the game is not meant to be to change the maximum peak brightness in this game and yeah, so no control at all. That means when we're using HGHG on an OLED TV like the LG, we will have a lot of clipping and specular highlights. That's why my recommendation is actually use dynamic tone mapping off. And I know this is very, very unusual for me because I'm not a big fan of dynamic tone mapping off. But in this case, because of the very high peak brightness in the game, it's a very good compromise. Let's say like this, dynamic tone mapping on, as we know, it is just over brighten the whole picture, especially if there is no specular highlights or not a very bright object on the screen it will just brighten up the average picture brightness and it just doesn't look good in my opinion. So dynamic tone mapping off is in my opinion the best way to play this game, but HGHG in some specular highlights may look better than dynamic tone mapping off because this is what I don't like with dynamic tone mapping off. Some specular highlights are not as specular as with HGHG, but at the end it's actually up to you what you like better. In my opinion, dynamic tone mapping off is the best way to play this game. Okay, my friends, so to summarize this, I'm very, very impressed with HDI in this game. It is fantastic. Okay, it's not perfect because we don't have any sliders, any settings, and it would be almost perfect if we could change actually the maximum peak brightness in this game because then we would be able to use HGHG and we would have a much better experience compared to dynamic tone mapping off. That's my opinion about this but that's how it is more important actually to have or more important is actually that we don't have any black level rays because specular highlights yes they're clipping with HGHG and with dynamic tone mapping off they're not as specular as with HGHG but more important is that the contrast is on a, such a great level it's it's amazing and this is how the Callista protocol should look like from day one without any elevated black levels. This is, it's just superb. Um, to play this game, or well, let's say like this, comparing this with SDR, there's no way I would play this game in SDR on an OLED TV like the LG OLED TV or any decent HDR screen at all. So please do me the favor, I have prepared a SDR versus HDR comparison as well 
make sure you watch this and then you can see actually the big differences between SDR and HDR in this game. It's just wow. And this time actually we don't have any difference between the black levels because SDR and HDR is absolutely on the same level. There is, again, there is no elevated black levels when you use HDR in this game, at least not on my TVs and not on my PCs. Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time.